Welcome back, guys. Coming at you again with another episode of Tokyo Zanadu EX Plus. You know, we're just doing our thing. Uh, what was the last thing we did? I think we can now progress the story. Anyway. Yeah, we want to go to the brick alley to progress our story. So last episode, yeah, we uh, just did ran around, did some errands. We got some items that could probably be useful in our future. You know, did the good thing. Hello, I am here. Oh, it's you, and you actually brought it with you. How nice. Yes, here you go. Camp Fury. Thank you, I was having trouble feeling or freeing up time to go get it myself, but it seems like it took you a while, though. Uh, were Mizuhara's tasks that hard? Well, I had to go around to a bunch of places. By the way, how did you and Mizuhara know each other? Oh, he's, sim he's a simple pharmacist that helps me out now and then. We were, were you hoping that we were dating or something? Not really. Maybe I'm just overthinking things, and Yukino actually doesn't know anything about the Eclipse. You're acting weirder than usual today. Anyway, good work today. Oh, and I want to recommend an air app to you, especially since you live alone. Up. The recipe page has been edited in there. Learn a recipe for a fluffy omelet. Receive three fresh eggs and three fresh milk. A recipe page and ingredients? Yes, I hear that you completely rely on your childhood friend for food. Use that to learn to cook for yourself for a change. You're probably right. What a pain in the ass. No shit. Haha, <laughs> you should try things at least once. Now then, it's gonna... Well, it's getting late. Right, I still have another job after this, so I should get going. Sure, good luck out there. Thank you. Captain, my third eye done. Got 100 gems. My virtue has increased. Let's try to max that by endgame. It looks like I completed the request. And that gem is what we just cashed in earlier, right? And I'm not sure how, how we get this kind of stuff through Nair. Probably best not to think about it too hard. It's time to head to work. Actually, let me check out this recipe I got. We're going home to cook. Once you have a recipe and the required ingredients, go to the Nair recipe page to cook. Cook foods work differently from healing items or medicines. They have other special attributes. But why not try it out sometime? You can learn new recipes by reading certain books in the item menu. If a certain character cooks for you, their dish will sometimes be an original dish that's unlike any recipe. Original dishes have greater healing properties and give other bonuses like additional experience points. Sometimes your cooking will fail and you will end up with Eclipse materials instead of a regular dish. As you gain party members, try cooking with some of your new friends. Will do. Because some friends can cook better things than others. It's just, yeah, signature dish. I know how the whole cooking system works. Trust me. Head to your part-time job in the shopping street. Does it want me to cook first? Fuck. Fuck. Keep forgetting. Yeah, we'll cook with her. She she seems better at it. Make it at eggs. Wow. Instead of fucking the omelet, I got baked in the next. Okay, so I should exit Brick Alley. Man, all this running around is wearing me. I still have to head over to my new gig. Before I do, I think I'll go home and relax for a bit. I can go to hit this room? Why? Since what? Did, 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 he, did he already go and relax? Can I go check this out? I want to go check this out. What's going on? What's the point of being in my room? There's nothing... Oh, well, there's nowhere more relaxing than my room. Although I don't get a whole lot of time to chill with all my part-time jobs. Well, oh, you got a space heater. Look at that. Big heater. But now that I look around this room, it feels kind of like it's missing something. Now that I'm pretty much on my own, I should get a few things from my place. I should probably look for some decent-looking furniture when I have some free time. So, really, we're going to decorate... 
You can add furniture and other items to the decor of my cozy room. By obtaining certain items, you can trigger special events where Ku's friends will stop by to say hi. When this happens, Ku and his friends' max HP will increase. You can buy furniture in stores to get new pieces from various people, depending on the season. So try to get them all if you feel the need. That's pretty dope. Looks like we've got a lot of manga here. Looks like we don't do much reading besides manga. But I can relate. I don't read much. I just, I'm not a fan of books. At all. Hello, Mr. Yanagi. Oh, welcome, Goo. Glad you're here. Hi, Mr. Yanagi. Thank you for today. Not at all. You'll be a big help. There's a meeting for all the shopping street owners, so you can manage things here while I'm out. There's still some time before your shift, though, so did you want to come back in a bit or, or start now? <sighs> yeah. I'm just gonna make him wait, because I want to run to the blacksmith. Let's see about... I don't care what that is. A miniature wrench? A small light wrench that's surprisingly durable. And something I can't afford. For two of these. It doesn't help it. Puts the range down, and those put everything up. Yeah, we're, we're just gonna leave that for now then. We'll go back to the job. We're gonna go now. I don't know what shopping here can do, but fuck, you can just buy a little bit of everything. Okay, yeah. Uh, that's right, Mr. Youngie's mom was pestering him to get married. Okay, yeah, well, I just skipped a bunch of talking, but none of it seemed relevant. Uh, my shift to the sports equipment store started. Customers came in as I finished up the tasks that had been assigned to me. As the evening approached, the store owner set out for the meeting. Sporting goods store. I think I'd hate working at one. It's late at this hour. There shouldn't be very many customers. I just have to hold out until Mr. Yanagi gets, gets back. Looking back, I was working on that night, too. Yeah, you work a lot. If I see Hiragi at school tomorrow, I need to pull her aside for a talk. Then again, who knows if talking to her will clear up anything at all. Speaking of which, I need to talk to Sora, too. Excuse me. Oh, welcome. Oh, it's you. Cool. Sora, hey, what a coincidence. Did club practice end already? But, yeah. <laughs> You really do work a lot of places, huh? Yeah, I think I work at every place in town, almost. It's kind of crazy. Oh, so you're staying at the apartment complex near here. Yeah, it's a little bit old, but the rent is cheap, and it's a nice place. The property manager is really kind and seems to genuinely care if I'm comfortable and happy. It's just on the other side of the station, so it's not that far from school, either. Pretty convenient. Are you a regular customer at the store? Yes, I come here pretty often. The support sleeves I use for the club wear up fairly quickly. Yeah, but that bitch that you, is your teacher. Ugh. Hey, Sora, did something happen between you and Aizawa? <laughs> Seems like you know everything, Ku. Yeah, it's probably why you're so fucking depressed. Chiaki is a very nice person. She taught me so many new things when I first came here from the countryside. She's the ace of the karate club, strong and a caring person. She gives me advice during practice and even just fun stuff to do at the club's over. Because of her, I was able to settle into school and life here pretty quickly. But at the beginning of last week, things suddenly changed. It got awkward between us. I'm grateful for her strict guidance and training, but sometimes she won't even respond when I talk to her. Now. I see. When, how did it start? You two didn't get into a fight or anything, did you? I don't know. I really don't know what happened. I keep trying to figure out what I might have done, and how I could have done it differently. I'm sorry, Ku. I'm completely distracted during our training this morning. Oh, don't worry about that. You still probably handed me my ass. Anyway, don't assume that it's something you did. Maybe Aizawa just wasn't in a good mood that day. That's always a possibility. 
I've known her since middle school, so I can talk to her if you want. Ooh. Thank you, but I think I'll be okay. What do you think? But we'll see. I'll start talking to Chiaki again. We're both martial artists. I'm sure we'll be able to come to an understanding. All right, then. Your funeral. Well, I'll be going now. Good luck with work. Work should be pretty near over. Ugh. After that, the store owner returned from the meeting. I was paid for the shift, and work ended for the day. Woo! 3,000 yen! We can go buy that expensive thing now. I want two, though. It's the only problem. Oh! Okay, for some reason I thought the music was creepy. For a second, I was like, are we getting ready to battle again? He's done already. Everything closed. I also got up really early this morning, so I should probably just head home. I'll check out the Both merch are good. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. So pure. Or maybe innocent is a better word. She's... Well, there's an apartment building nearby. Maybe I should poke around some more. Why? Seriously, I can't believe that talent scout thought I was a girl. I thought you were a girl. He asked me if I was interested in working at the maid cafe. That's hilarious. I don't know how much cash I got on now. It looks like I can't buy anything right now either. Uh, so, uh, we, we gotta go visit her apartment? How? I think it just tells me where north is. Source apartment, it should be. I don't know where to, how to get to these places. That's Sora. And Chiaki. That's... It looks like they're talking. I'll just hang back and wait for now. Once you approach the apartment, the story will progress. Yeah, we'll hang back for a quick second, because we'll just... Uh, you know, we'll, we'll do the good thing and save. Now yeah, let's head in. That's... It looks like they're talking. I'll just hing back and wait. Okay, I read the right. Now we'll head in. What did you want to talk about? I just happened to be in the shopping street. You must be tired after practicing. You may get some rest or you'll be useless tomorrow. Sorry. I was going to wait until after practice tomorrow to talk to you, but... Would you like to come inside? I think I'll pass. If you have something to say, just say it already. Shiaki, please tell me. What am I doing wrong? No matter how hard I try, I can't figure it out on my own. What did I do wrong? I don't know what I did to make you so mad at me. And I don't... I don't want things between us like this. Uh, so please tell me what it is. You really don't get it, do you? Hmm? If it weren't for you, if it weren't for you, I wouldn't have to feel this. Way. What do you mean? I don't get it. Why? Why did you have to come to Mori? Yeah. You have your own dojo, right? Why don't you just go home and study your own style already? Since you joined the karate club, I. Just stop right there. Badass is walking in. Aizawa, Aizawa? That's going way too far. At the very least, why are you saying crap like that to an underclassman? <laughs> Jesus, glare at me all you fucking want, then, you stupid bitch. I understand how you feel. Still. Oh, for fuck's sake. Why in her again? What? Don't you die, oh, burp. Twice now. Twice. This is bad, get away. And she's in. These are happening nightly. These are happening fucking nightly. And of course, being the man, we are. 
We gotta run in after her. Oh, oh this one's light lit up better. Cocoa. This is Yep, another dungeon. The Amber Labyrinth. This one looks more complicated. Oh. Damn it, I knew it was an eclipse. Sona, where are you? Crap, where did it come from? Are you here again? My god, you find me fast. For the love of... What are you doing here? I told you to stay out of it and not get involved. I'm sure as hell not involved because I want to be. Forget that for now. We don't have time to argue. At this rate, Sora will... Let me guess. You saw an eclipse form before your eyes? Calm down and tell me what happened. I told her about the red rift chasm thing appearing out of nowhere. I think I understand. Well, the gist of it, at least. Whatever the case, you need to turn around and leave now. You were looking for Ikishima, right? I'll go find her in your place, so... No. She's an innocent bystander who got dragged into this mess. I'm not going to abandon her. You're a stubborn one. Fair enough. I'll take you. Oh, I think you'll be able to summon your soul device again. Now that she mentions it, I was kind of in a trance last time, so I don't really know how he did it. I thought as much. So, why is all my female friends getting, like, attacked? I don't recognize this app. It's an app that lets one save and develop their soul device. It allows to be able to summon their power once it's been unlocked like this. Whatever you just said, sure. Okay, I've already wasted too much time with you. I will... I'll let you take a long again, but this is... This time's the last. Thanks, I guess. Why do you gotta be such a bitch to me? We are good to go. Now it's been decided, let's go. Yeah, you better not slow me down. My extra extended gear. No, extend gear's not available. Thanks to the app Asuka installed on your side phone, you can now access your soul device. Select the soul device option in the camp menu to equip various element properties. Finally, I think I can do some shit. Force 1 attack plus 5, fire sword to keep sentient enemy will burn. Place elements in the grid. Cool. Let's just hit fight and go in. We're not, we're just gonna. Change various settings in the system menu option. The camp menu some options will make the game easier. You can change the gift, you can change difficulty, enemy sign, and KO lock status. Oh, okay. Set where the lock on stays on will down. Show enemy signs. The difficulty can be changed. No penalty, no calamity. Change the gift a little bit easy. We'll add more platforms. Why would I do that though? Why would I want the game to be easier? Okay. So we can. So if we hit Raging Gear, we can't change that. But I can put in one of the thing. So that boosts attack by 5 and everything else. Ups fire, power, 10% damage to when it feels 50% chance. I think I want to increase my overall damage though. You know. What I do. Wait. I don't know what I get for items right now. Poison talisman, fire talisman, lightning talisman. It's down so much shit. I don't want to. We're gonna go without for now. I got one. No, I got five. Two. Buy two more of those, but then I'm done buying. We're just gonna go about it and hope. And we're gonna end the episode here for today with that save. So please comment and subscribe to the episode, and the next one we will start this dungeon. See you then, guys. Bye bye.